<laughs> oh god, I've recorded this so many times, sorry, and now I've got the giggles. Uh, this is all about Clinique's new Black Honey range. I say new, but um, I'm probably going to post this up in a couple of weeks, so it'll have been out for a couple of weeks. And they're not tones that I would normally wear, because... Um, I would normally steer clear of these kind of russety, reddish undertones. So it's quite interesting to have been experimenting with them. So I'm going to go all the way back to the start. I've recorded this so many times I can't remember which products I've remembered to put in and tell you about. So just in case it's not in the main video, um, my nail colour is called Sant'Antonio and it's by OPI and it's from the Texas collection. It probably is in the proper video as well but I'm just saying that to be sure. So, let's go back to the beginning with no makeup on and hope that I get it right. 68th time lucky with this video because everything is going completely wrong today. Um, and now I can't even remember where I was going to start. I'm not going to be wearing a base. No foundation or tinted moisturiser for this because I'm recording it in advance. I've just got back from holiday and um, I feel like my skin doesn't really need anything apart from this rather new wonderful moisturiser from Aveeno. This is the Positively Radiant Daily Skin Brightening Moisturiser and it just gives this really nice sheeny glow. So I want skin very very natural, I've got enough of a colour on it and because it is kind of autumn or fall if you're in the States, um, you know I don't want my skin to look too bronzed. So all I'm going to do, I've got some concealer on, just uh, the Lancome Long Lasting Softening Concealer under the eyes in shade 2 and I've just kind of dotted it on underneath there just get rid of my dark circles and then I'm going to use uh, the Becca Mineral Blush in some kind of shade that I can't even pronounce but uh, it's very kind of beigey I don't know what you'd call that it's Saturday so it's probably not Saturday when I put this video up but it's Saturday at the moment so my brain's not switched on and I'm using a number 7 blush brush And that's just a tiny bit of blush onto the apples of the cheeks. So there, that's the skin absolutely finished. I'm doing very dramatic hand movements today. And now we're on to the kind of main event, which is this new stuff from um, Clinique Black Honey, which I really, really love. This is the eye quad with its very kind of funky packaging. And uh, inside those are the shades. Now, I would normally run a mile from these shades because they're very kind of reddish, rusty red undertones in there and um, beautiful but I normally wouldn't ever use them. But I've been playing around with them and I absolutely love the effect. So that's what I'm going to be using along with the um, new brush on cream liner which again is very very reddish. So first of all I'm going to apply kind of a base colour and um, I'm going to be using these two here, the lighter ones, towards the inner corners of the eye. I'm using a pixie brush and this is the lid and crease brush. So it's got one really nice kind of shadow brush and then one angled one but it's still quite thick and fluffy so I really like that. I'm going to zoom in now um, and then I'm going to stop talking because it's hard to edit it so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do beforehand. I'm going to use this very kind of rusty colour here towards the outsides of the um, eye and really blend it out and then I'm going to use this uh, darker shade as a kind of accent shade to really define the eyes and maybe a little bit into the crease and then I'm going to be using the cream liner um, along the lash lines on the top and the bottom and maybe a little bit more darker shadows just underneath the lash line to smudge it out a bit but I don't want to go too over the top, I want it to be quite a nice natural uh, kind of day to evening look No, 
I feel like I'm <laughs> doing some kind of mime video. I'll shut up again now. So that's it. Hair band off. Hair's a little bit of a mess, sorry about that. Uh, and don't know when this will come out, but uh, you'll probably see a preview of it in my July beauty roundup, because that's what I'm recording next. So I shall see you in the next video.